Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize many features of the spelling tool. You can view the proofing options for Microsoft OneNote by clicking the File tab in the ribbon, then clicking the Options command, and then selecting the Proofing category from the Option Category list at the left side of the window. In the When Correcting Spelling in Microsoft Office Programs section, check the checkboxes next to the displayed options in order to turn them on or off. A check in the box indicates that an option is selected or enabled. There are two other sections for options that apply to OneNote only the Autocorrect Options section, and the When Correcting Spelling in OneNote section. Another useful feature of Microsoft OneNote is the Autocorrect feature. All users mistype or misspell words. There may be words that you seem to mistype frequently. OneNote provides the Autocorrect feature to help you automatically correct common misspellings of words. For example, if you commonly mistype the word the as T-E-H, Autocorrect can automatically replace the misspelling as you type. To view the autocorrect feature, click the autocorrect options button at the top of the proofing options shown in the OneNote options dialog box. This will bring up the autocorrect dialog box. Click the autocorrect tab to set or change the autocorrect options in OneNote. You can set any of the available options that you desire by making sure a check mark is placed next to the feature that you want enabled. In the area below, you can add entries to your autocorrect library by entering the word to be replaced into the Replace text box and the word to replace it with into the With text box and then clicking the Add button. Also notice the Exceptions button. If there are certain words or chains of letters that you do not want OneNote to automatically fix, you can add them to the Exceptions list. When you click this button, it will open the Autocorrect Exceptions dialog box where you can create exceptions to the first letter and the initial caps rules by typing them into the text box and then clicking the Add button that appears to the right and then clicking the OK button when you're finished. To delete an autocorrect entry from the list shown on the autocorrect tab, you would select the entry that you want to delete and then click the Delete button in the lower right corner of the autocorrect tab. Once you have finished setting your autocorrect settings, click or tap the OK button to close the dialog box and save your changes. You can then click or tap the OK button in the OneNote Options dialog box to close and save the default proofing options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.